Um, you can see what the indent rainbow does here is is it has these like little indentions with the the color. So so that's kind of all it does. It's it, it's uh, but but it does make it look a lot prettier and a lot more palatable for code. Bob Bob. <laughs> Guys, I'm being judged right now. I'm being judged right now. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> all right. All right, folks. Folks, welcome to a episode uh, uh, or, or learn episode today. I'm going to go over a, a just a, an extension I keep getting asked about. A few friends of mine have asked about this, and I've seen a few comments as well about the indent rainbow. So this is the extension that it is. Um, this is what it what it can do, and then I want to show you guys how to actually customize it in a in a way where it's where it's proper. Um, there's there's multiple extensions of this, so I've seen this one as well that I used to use, but it's it's kind of plain Jane and ugly. This is the the actual one you want. So look for this one, Evo uh, or Evon Dev Indent Rainbow Palettes. That's going to be the one, um, and I'll show you what it does. So let's let's just build a project, and this is relevant to any VS Code project. This is this is a tool for your VS Code. So if you're in a Python project, a TypeScript project, a React, Angular, Vue, um, anything like that, it's 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 a useful tool just to organize your uh, your VS Code. So I'm going to show you guys with the next JS project. Uh, I'll run through it real quick. The TypeScript, ESLint, Tailwind, CSS, SRC directory, all these things. And this will initialize a project for us. But again, it's not exclusive to a Next.js project. It's, it's good for anything. So um, you can see what the indent rainbow does here is, is it has these like little indentions with the, the color. So, so that's kind of all it does. It's, it, it's, uh, but, but it does make it look a lot prettier and a lot more palatable for code. And you can kind of see your code blocks and all these things. Um, so I, I want to show you guys how to get a little bit more granular with it and how you want to do this. Uh, step one is obviously go to your extensions, look for indent rainbow, find the Yvonne dev, uh, indent rainbow palette, download that. And then the second step you want to do, um, there's, there's actually multiple pre-configured themes you could choose from that they have. Uh, but I want to show you guys how to make your own custom one because this one that I have is actually a custom theme and I'll give it to you guys. You can steal it. Uh, and how I do that is, is I, I press shift command P and then I go to preferences and I open user settings with the JSON. The JSON settings is what you, what you want. Um, and your settings are likely going to look a lot different. So I'll show you more than likely how your settings will look initially. You're probably going to have nothing here or, or very few settings. It'll just be an empty object. Um, and if you don't have it, just make it an empty object. And uh, what, what you want to paste in is, is uh, th these are going to be indent rainbow dot colors. And these are just colors that I chose that I thought would be cool. So I'll, I'll leave this obviously in the description for all of you guys and all the code. But just find a RGBA color palette um, or color, color creator, right? So color palette, uh, boom. And you could do this. You could you could make your own custom ones. But the biggest tip I would have. Oh, there's my uh, Canva. I've been exposed. <laughs> I've, I've been exposed. <laughs> um, but uh, just go ahead and find a, 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 a color palette that you enjoy, and then from there, pick pick any of these if you'd like. And the biggest 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 trick is just make them a little bit transparent so do an rgba not just an rgb um, value because if if it's just the rgb values that you i'll show you guys let's let's not uh do any more music for a sec i'll show you guys what it does if i just do the rgb without the the transparency um let me do a developer reload real quick actually before, before i do that let me let me save save my settings before i lose them one sec guys one sec so let me undo all this and hold on i'm gonna save all of them okay because when i do a developer reload I, I won't be able to access that again so let me store all those here that's fine and so let me take out the transparency and it just it just makes it really ugly so so i would highly 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 recommend not doing that Let's see. I just made the first one uh, not transparent. And you can see how, how it's like a really uh, drastic and, and not a good 
uh, uh, colors. So, so that that's that's kind of it in a nutshell. It's a, it's a really simple tutorial, but but just steal this code or steal these colors if you want. You can run with them. I'll, I'll put them in the description for y'all. Um, but if not, if you want to make your own, go ahead and just um, uh, you know find a find a color palette that you enjoy, and then make them more transparent. So it's that simple, but I've been asked about it a ton and I think it is a uh, really easy way to make your VS Code look a lot better. So 